Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for. Jeez, I'm crying. I don't even know the date. 28th? July 28th. It's Saturday the 28th. This is for all signs. Keep in mind that um, the timing is fluid, so whenever this resonates, this is what I'm picking up on today for energy. But, you know, this could be in the future, could be in the past, could be right now. Um, if this feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. I wanted to give a shout out um, to uh, a tarot reader that I don't know if you guys have all heard of her. It's Strength in Wisdom Tarot. She is so good. I really like her. So I would suggest you give her, go check her out. Strength in Wisdom Tarot. King of Wands. Now, this could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but this is also the king of confidence, creativity. Um, this is also, this is the king of, of business, okay? He's an entrepreneur, so he creates new ideas and follows through and becomes his own boss. He is a boss. I'm the boss. He is the boss. So let's see what comes up with this King of Wands. Very protective. Dominant. Strong. So it feels as though some sort of truth is coming out, okay? There's somebody's getting caught. Caught playing a game? Interesting. Now, this guy is very noble. But here we have the Seven of Swords. Somebody has been lying, cheating, stealing, and now they have gotten caught, or they're about to get caught. They didn't do the noble thing. So maybe whoever this noble person is could be any sign, this person that is wise. This is very wise. Now, the emperor is rolled up into the King of Wands. The, the emperor is very wise, Okay, so it feels as though there has been some sort of drama or games that are that are be coming to light. You know, this the this this behind the scenes act is coming to light. It's it's being brought out. Can't hide it. It's unhideable at this point. Somebody sees right through it. The hermit reversed is... This could be a midlife crisis. Somebody could be going through a midlife crisis. Deciding to step outside. Step outside of their comfort zone. Or step outside of where they've been. Because there's been no victory and success there. So perhaps they decide to tell the truth. Who knows what this is. Do the right thing. The noble thing. I think that they've been going back and forth in their head. Trying to decide whether this was the right thing to do or not. But to keep these, these 
basically this act, these lies going on within their mind isn't serving them. It's not bringing victory and success and this caused a midlife crisis. Loneliness. Interesting. Yeah, somebody, some lies are coming out. Somebody, somebody has been manipulating, lying, hiding the truth. But it feels like now, there is some sort of revelation that comes about that, that exposes exposure. Somebody was brought to their knees with this Five of Swords by somebody's ego. Driven by greed, obsession, addictions, lust, every, anything that's not good. But now it can't be hidden anymore. You know, with the Four of Cups reversed, it's like there's a new offer on the table because somebody has decided that, you know, I can't, this act is no longer paying off. So there is a new offer on the table because I don't want to be alone. I don't want to die alone. There's no victory and success wherever I've, whatever I've been lying about. But still clinging to the past, going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth within their mind, within, within their selves. Back and forth, power struggle. What do I do? What do I do? Do I, do I want to be independent or do I want to go back to the past? Do I want to be independent or do I want to go back to the past? What's it going to be? So I, this is a very decisive king. So I feel like as though somebody, and this could to any, but any one of us can take on these energies. Somebody has made the decision or is in the process of making a decision through loneliness, through alone time. About which way they want to fall. But the decision hasn't been made yet. I think they're in the process of making the decision because I don't see any decisive, like the decision has absolutely been made. Somebody's ego is still at play. Let me get this focused. With that five of swords, we know that's a big ego card, that five of swords, you know. There's been some sort of temptation that has led someone astray. But I think that now they realize that this, you know, that's all it was. It was just a, it was just a lust or a lie or unreal. It wasn't unreal. There was no any there was nothing long term going to come out of it. It was it was a uh, temporary Somebody is feeling really abundant with who they are. Enjoying life. Taking care of business. Working on themselves. Just enjoying life in general. Regaining confidence. I have a lot of confidence. I have a lot of courage.
and I fight, feel quite comfortable with who I am. So somebody is feeling really, really comfortable and at ease and confident. They've regained or they've grown their self-esteem. But the memories of the past for somebody in this dynamic is causing a lot of back and forth, tug of war, power struggles. And somebody knows that this is just an act, a, a, a lie that doesn't lead to victory and success, doesn't lead to anything concrete. So I feel as though now somebody is deciding to step out and perhaps make a new offer. Because somebody else has walked away. Somebody has walked away from this person with that ego. I, I don't need to be involved in this. You win. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. I don't I don't want that kind of love where I'm where I'm alone anyway. If you're in love with your ego, then I might as well be alone. There's no victory and success in that. So let me get some clarifiers here. Somebody is confused about the decision that they have to make. They're in decision-making mode. What do I choose? What do I do? I have options. I know that I have options. It is a complex decision on the table. There is. There absolutely is. Okay? There's a complex decision on the table. Do I let go or do I hold on? Do I continue to be stubborn? Or do I let this change happen? Do I continue to be greedy? Or do I give? There's a choice, there's a decision on the table. It's one, somebody has to let go, somebody has to give in. There's a lot of greed here. There's addictions. There's lies. And I think somebody knows. And I think this is internal. So please don't go pointing the finger at somebody else. Somebody has been lying to themselves Resisting change because they're comfortable where they're at, but very unhappy. And this is internal. This isn't for you to point your finger at another person and say, oh no, that's him, that's him. No, no, no. This is you. When you point the finger at another person... That's ego. That's a lie. These are both lies. A lot of lies here. Work on yourself. And don't worry about what the other person has to work on. You work on you. And when you get to this spot where you are comfortable with who you are and you're enjoying life, the right one, the noble person, whoever it is, will come into your life to help you along the way. But if you're pointing the finger at everybody but yourself, 
you're you that's that's a master manipulator There's a complex decision on the table in regards to what somebody has been lying to themselves about. Do I continue to stay clinging to the past? Do I continue to play this game? Because this is the Five of Wands, which is a game. That is absolutely a lie. And it's an internal lie. Do Or do I let go? Do I stop holding this grudge? Do I stop holding on to my stance? Do I, do I stop resisting change and let myself be happy again? The Knight of Cups. An offer of love. And this is an offer of love as well. Wanting romance, relationship growth. Intense. There's an opportunity for love to be put back on the table. If somebody can stop. Now, this, is, this could be new love. Because that's what just came to my mind. New love, new love. That's what pop, I just, when I said put love back on the table, I heard new love. New love. So don't stop. Stop holding on to what doesn't serve you. It's a lie. It's time to move on. To master your emotions. To move forward. To find victory and success. You have to move forward. You have to replace fear with faith. You have to let yourself go through this transformation. You have to head out of the deceptive situation, the, the, the act. You have to stop playing the game. You have to move. Instead of staying where you're at. There could be an opportunity in the future if somebody can accept the truth and stop pointing the finger. So I feel like today is a day of dealing with the toxic situations that the toxins, which are lies that you are holding within, pretending, burying them. I mean, that's what the devil does, buries the truth. The devil is ego. And we have these two ego cards. Somebody's holding on to ego, not wanting to own up to their part in a situation, thinking that it's all it's the other. No, it's not me. Wrong. I don't want to see any comments underneath. This is for my DM. No, this is for you. Somebody is holding on to a dead end situation. They are being called to move forward. To master their emotions and stop holding on. Stop. There's no victory and success in that. It's a lie. It's fake. It's an act. And there's an opportunity for new love on the horizon once you stop. Once you accept the truth and stop holding on.
There's no victory in success in this, this situation. That's a lie. There's not. And it's time for somebody to accept the truth. There's no victory in success with this lie. It's a lie. The devil brings lies. You need to let it go. Stop holding on to it. Stop clinging to the past. I understand that this is a complex decision. I understand that this is scary. But you have to have enough self-love and self-worth and integrity and confidence and courage to put yourself first. You need to be wise enough to know better. Today is a day of mastering your emotions, putting yourself in the driver's seat and getting the hell out. My phone's over there, so we're just going to let it ring. It should only ring four times, I think. Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. You can't control it. You can't control what a other person does, like I said. I get these comments under my other videos. This is flipped. This is right, but this is flipped. No, it's not. No, it's not. That's you not wanting to accept that th that, that is how the other person is feeling. Trying to flip it. No, I'm not that reader that's going to tell you that. No. My readings can't be flipped. What does a narcissist do? Flips it. So please don't go on my readings and say that it is flipped unless you're a narcissist. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Stop holding on to something that is unrealistic. It's time to move on to bring success to your life. In the future... There's an opportunity for romance and love for those of you that let go of the control issues and stop playing the game. Love thyself and what you wish for will come. But if you let the lies consume you, if you continue to lie to yourself and escape the truth, do anything to not believe the truth, you let the devil take over, then you will continue to suffer. Oh, perfect. Self-love. Now is the time to love Nurture and heal yourself. Self-love is not simply a state of mind about feeling good. It's a state of appreciation for yourself that grows and matures from actions you take to support your body, mind, and soul. And that is what this reading is about. It's about self-love. Accepting the truth and not lying to yourself. Because of what you know. What you've known. A transformation is on the horizon. This is a transformation card. As soon as you find the mental strength and replace that fear with faith and move on. From whatever it is that you're lying to yourself about. And trying to point the finger at somebody else. Talk to you later.